Aww, I'm Ibithic here, and welcome back to Elkoi. Summoning is definitely one of the most useful skills here on Elkoi, whether you want to spawn a Steel Titan to do a bunch more damage on those bosses or other players, or you want a pack act that can store a bunch of backup supplies. Either way, I would say getting your summoning up to 99 is definitely a priority. So I'm going to show you guys how to get from 1 to 99 summoning the fastest, most efficient way. There are no requirements. You can be level 3 and have 0 GP in your bank. My Yak has some attachment issues. He doesn't like to be too far from me. Now the first and most important thing is to save your charms for the weekend. I highly advise against using any of your charms during the weekdays as every single Friday to Sunday it is double XP. So unless you have a ton of charms to spare, save it for the weekend, get that double XP, also use a vote book. Before we get into the methods, a really useful tool for getting charms is the Charming Imp here at the Dungeoneering Reward Shop for 100,000 tokens. It'll pick up all the charms automatically for you, which is really useful, but it's actually not that necessary. Picking up the charms isn't that hard. They pretty much stack on the ground anyways over time, and you can just pick them up all at once. Alright, so on to actually getting the charms, and there is one method that is the best and reigns over the rest. I didn't mean to rhyme. And that is barraging rock lobsters and giant rock crabs. So like I said, you do not need any requirements for this. If you have no money at all, you are going to have to buy some supplies. I recommend doing colon colon vote. You'll be able to redeem six of these vote reward books. Now do not use them. You're actually going to want to sell five of them and keep one. They sell for about 5 to 6 mil each, so that'll give you about 25 or 30 mil. Once you have that money, go to the Magic Supply Store. You're going to want to buy one full Mystic set, also a Blessed Spirit Shield, and an Ancient Staff. And apart from that, just buy a bunch of runes. I would say just buy about a thousand of each. Soul and Water Runes. Now, if you only have level 1 magic, you're going to want to go to the training teleports and go kill some stuff like rock crabs or experiments until you have level 68 magic, which is needed for blood bursts. You can also get a god cape for a little bit of extra magic bonus if you just go to mage bank and go through the pool, it is completely free. So once you have the required magic and defense level to, of course, equip this gear, you're going to want to put it on. Go to your teleports, go to your skilling teleports, click on summoning and head over to the Rock Lobsters. If you go to your spell book, you can actually right click and auto cast on Bloodburst and this is where the XP is just going to roll in. So you're going to want to come all the way to the east up here. Now if you have Protect from Melee, it's going to be pretty useful, but it's not completely necessary as of course we'll be using, we'll be using Blood spells and that is going to heal us. So these guys are um, uh, aggressive. So you just run in here and they'll basically start attacking you. You do want to get a kind of a nice spread in here so they are able to uh, kind of attack like the middle one like this. And as you can see, it's hitting a bunch of them. So this will actually raise your magic level really fast and then you'll be able to use Blood Barrage at level 92. So we'll just go ahead and auto cast that now. Now it's also a good idea to uh, come over and sit in this corner. If you run back and forth, it'll actually uh, it'll kind of drag them into one spot more as you can see. And now I'm hitting a lot more at once. So if you just move around a little bit, you can find find a sweet spot. Now as you can see, these two butt buddies, I don't know what the fuck, they come and do this together. But uh, they're coming and also doing this, and I didn't really think about that, but you can also bring a dwarf multi-cannon here, as it's obviously all multi. Now the best part about this method is completely AFK. If you have enough runes, and uh, if your defense is high enough to where you don't have to protect from melee, I actually shouldn't have to really. You can pretty much just sit here and let your account stay killing them for an entire hour, and you'll pretty much have all the charms that you need. And as I mentioned, the other ones you can kill, just in case that one's a little too crowded, these also tend to drop a little bit more crimson and blues. You teleport over here to the giant rock crabs. As you can see, this guy is actually here right there, and there's actually this guy up here as well. But I found that they pretty much drop the same as the rock lobsters, so either or doesn't really matter. Now, if for some reason that method doesn't suit you, which it should, because it's the easiest and the fastest, there are a couple other pretty good ones. First would simply be Slayer. Pretty much every single Slayer monster will drop you charms. So you can simply get a task from Kurodel over here and you should get quite a few charms from that. And if both of those don't interest you, there is one last option which is a few different monsters. First would be killing black dragons right over here in the Taverly dungeon. Uh, not only are they aggressive, so if you have some pretty good gear and soul split, you can AFK. But as you can see, their HP is pretty low, pretty much only 190, you can kill them pretty fast. Actually, forgot to put on my Dragonfire Shield. 
And uh, they'll drop you charms pretty much every time. In fact, they drop a lot of blue charms as well. So you can see there's another one and three blue charms right there. You pretty much get three charms every single time you kill them. And as you can see, I've killed quite a few of them pretty quickly. All right, so these aren't too bad at all. Apart from Black Dragons, the only other thing I would recommend is a couple bosses. Uh, the two being King Black Dragon and Tormented Demons. On my Loot from Tundra Tormented Demons video, I actually got a lot of uh, crimson, blue, and, and green charms. He definitely dropped mostly crimson and blues, which are the biggest ones for XP, and he dropped them pretty much every time. And the kills only take like 45 seconds. Alright, so you got your charms, now you're probably wondering what is the most efficient way to use them. Well, the little summoning layer is right down here near the Edgeville Bank. Simply go down the ladder, you'll be kicking it down here with pickup sticks and his big ol' obelisk. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is buy a bunch of pouches and also some spirit shards. You will need a couple of these packs, but they're only two and a half mil each. Now, like I said, I highly recommend only using your charms on the weekend when it's double XP and make sure that you use a vote book for even more bonus experience. So knowing what to train and what order is pretty simple and you have all the information here at the obelisk. If you hover over, it'll actually tell you uh, what you need for that pouch. Of course, it'll also tell you the level. So you will be at level one and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to pick up sticks and buy an entire inventory of wolf bones. And then simply infuse all of these pouches. You can also save a lot of time without having to bank by going to the second tab and infusing all of them into scrolls as well, which will give you a little tiny XP. Now let's say that put us up to level 40. You're going to go back onto the obelisk and scroll around until you see where the level 40 pouches are. As you can see, there's a level 40 bull ant pouch that requires marigold. So go over to pick up sticks, trade him, and see if he has marigolds. And as you can see, he actually doesn't have any. That's going to happen a lot, uh, which is good that we can check it over here. So I can't do those. You're going to go down a level and it's going to be br bronze minotaur pouches. So let's see if he has any bronze bars. I already know the answer is no once again. So that's basically the strategy. You just keep going down until you find one that you can actually do. And it looks like the only next one we can do is a honey badger, which requires honeycombs and crimson charms. And there you go. As you can see, there are honeycombs. So we're going to buy them all. Go back here, make all of our honey badger pouches, and then transform them all into scrolls. And you can honestly just drop this stuff, it's pretty worthless. Now one more time, just so you guys understand, let's say that we are now at level 72. Just go onto here, go to your pouches tab, go all the way until you see the level 72 pouches. As you can see, it's a phoenix pouch, which requires a feather, which as you can see, he of course doesn't have. So I'm gonna go back, and it looks like the next lowest one we can do is the fruit bat, which requires a banana. So that's all it really takes, you're just going to kind of go back, check if he has the item in stock, and if he does, go make the pouch, turn it into scrolls, and move on. Now once you get up to around level 86, you can make rune minotaur pouches. Now, pickup sticks doesn't sell rune bars in his store, but I recommend just going to the uh, trading post and buying a bunch of rune bars. When you make these with the uh, XP boost, you literally get like 1 to 1.5 1 million XP in your inventory. Same thing with Iron Titan pouches, you can just buy a bunch of Iron Plate bodies and it'll give you like a million XP. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. The weekend is coming up, so if you don't have 99 summoning, I really suggest you get out that mage gear, go over to those rock lobsters and get some charms to prepare. If you follow this method, it really should only take you about an hour or an hour and a half to get all the charms necessary for 99 summoning and then making the pouches really takes like 15 minutes at the most. And then there you go, you got Pack Yak, you got a Steel Titan, two of the most useful things in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to more videos. And have a nice day.